G20 was a, a defining moment in my career. I was deeply honoured to lead the largest peacetime operation in Australia's history. I studied policing for four or five years and did my course at Griffith. It was such a big component of my early career and starting out. It makes you question what you do in your work life and it gives you a different perspective on life. And I was the only mother to ever get to Assistant Commissioner of Police in 150 years. The fourth woman and the only mother. Who would have thought that even four years ago that I would be sitting in, my, in this position? Queensland Fire and Emergency Services is made up of a number of services. Fire and Rescue Service, Rural Fire Service, SES and Emergency Management Queensland. So I came into QFES as a result of a damning report into the culture of the organisation. Uh, a number of women had experienced some extraordinarily uh, terrible behaviour and a review was conducted of QFES and the culture within it. So we're doing a lot of work about having the services work better together in our environment. So I would say the culture has changed. I got 70 of my senior women together and had a discussion about mentoring and about leadership. My advice to them was look around at the more junior women and have a chat to them. As a woman who's so senior, there are not many of us around. You cannot be what you cannot see. I think wherever you go, you should make sure that you leave a legacy, that you have made the organisation a better place and then you can move on to somewhere else. People look to me, particularly in times of need. I'm obviously quite public around disaster time and I take it seriously that I can provide security and safety to people when they hear and listen to me. I'm incredibly honoured to be leading this organisation in this state.